Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'd like to show four super easy mochi recipes that I love. You can buy mochi blocks at Japanese grocery stores or on Amazon in the yard, and you can make quick meals or snacks with them. To keep mold from growing, store them in the fridge or a freezer with a food storage bag or plastic bag. I like this individually packed mochi since they are easy to cook and store. I think two pieces each for one person is a good amount for breakfast or snack. I'm cooking for two people this time. Now let's cook the first mochi recipe. The first one is from my childhood breakfast, sweet soy sauce mochi. Great for busy mornings, but it's still super tasty Japanese mochi. Toast the mochi blocks until they get puffed up. You can also pan fry them, but I think toasting in an oven or toaster is easier if you have it. While cooking the mochi, let's cook the sweet soy sauce. Mix one tablespoon of soy sauce and sugar each. That's it. Easy peasy Japanese. Just wait until the mochi gets puffed up. When the mochi is ready, coat the mochi pieces with the sweet soy sauce. It might be easier for some people to just use tongue. The combination of sweet and salty soy sauce is amazing. This is already tasty, but if you have some seaweed, rub the mochi with it. They look so good! Crispy outside, but the inside is so mochi mochi. Next one is butter soy sauce mochi. Also a very easy recipe. Just add a butter when the mochi starts to get puffed up. Then put it back in the oven until it gets some great marks. You can eat it as it is, but I like adding a little bit of soy sauce to bring out the flavor. Now let's cut it. So crispy like a rice cracker. You can eat it just with your hands or with chopsticks too. This next recipe is also fun and incredibly easy. It's peanut butter mochi. Toast the mochi until it gets puffed up like I did for the other mochi recipes. Then add some peanut butter on it. If you want, you can use almond butter instead. Peanut butter I had wasn't sweet, so I added some sugar on it. The mochi is warm, so the peanut butter melts nicely. It looks amazing! Again, it's crispy outside, mochi soft inside. With the sweet peanut butter, it's just perfect! The last one is great for breakfast. It's bacon cheese mochi. Before toasting the mochi, 
wrap the mochi with a piece of bacon. And add some cheese on top. The mochi is already sticky, so the cheese is optional. But I love having some cheese with the bacon. Oh, it's so Toast it until the bacon and the mochi are cooked. Add just a little bit of soy sauce on top. Optional, add a pinch of sugar. The sugar makes this mochi more delicious and flavorful with the salty bacon and cheese. The cheesy bacon goes great with the soy sauce and the cup of mochi. It's a perfect breakfast bite. If you want to have more breakfast ideas, pick up some mochi and try these easy recipes. Thank you for watching and see you again. Matane!